Hey guys, this is Nita Ann here. Welcome back to my channel, Beauty by Nita. Today I wanna to talk about why social media has created more narcissists than ever. So, some of you might have noticed that after COVID, a lot of people got addicted to this thing right in front of you, your phone. Now, how ironic that I'm sitting here talking to you from YouTube, from a phone, to try to get my message out. But the problem is, is a lot of people have come, become addicted to their phone that they are disassociated from actual relationships. Have you ever noticed that people will go out to dinner with their friends and family and instead of actually talking to their family, they're sitting there looking at their phone? Have you ever looked at a family hanging out and instead of actually spending quality time together, they're looking at their phone? Well, what's got even worse is that people are not actually having conversations anymore. So what I really am concerned about is teenagers that grew up during COVID that never really had to have a conversation with other people for a full two years because they were quarantined and then there was more isolation. And so they just did digital conversations. You know, there are relationships online who never actually talk on the phone. This is just a relationship that they have online, but they don't actually talk on the phone. They don't actually do a FaceTime video. They don't actually spend time together, but there are committed relationships online. People call each other a girlfriend, a boyfriend, but they're not actually talking to anyone in person. This is an online relationship. I was shocked when I heard that these things are actually more common than not. So what's the problem with having these online relationships is that you really don't have to give that much of yourself beyond a text message. Now we do know texting does take time and effort, but what takes more time and effort is actually having a conversation, is actually doing something together, whether or not it's riding a bike together, making a meal together, going for a hike together, doing a project together, creating something together. These are things that we used to do before people got addicted to their phone. And the turning point happened during COVID. And so what it's caused is it's caused a me society instead of a we society. So what's the problem with creating a me society instead of a we society? is if people can get everything they need from a phone and they don't even have to go out to get food anymore, they can just Uber Eats from a phone, <laughs> then what's the point in anyone even leaving the house? Um, if they can do everything from their phone, what's the point in actually putting extra effort into building a relationship? What I see happening is that people are gonna have less and less tolerance for other people's flaws and they're just going to probably cut off people a lot quicker. It is so easy nowadays to block people when someone's getting irritated with someone instead of actually working it out, block. That's what's happening, right? Is that like I have, of course, some teenage daughters who are growing up in this era, era and you'd be surprised at how many times their friends randomly block them and randomly unblock them. So they block them when they're mad at each other and then they unblock them when they're not mad anymore. And I'm surprised that this is something that happens often, especially in the younger culture. And so what I see happening is that people are starting to dehumanize other people because it's too easy to find someone else on the internet. It's too easy to find a distraction. It's too easy to be more self-absorbed in what we're doing than to actually try to work on ourselves to build a relationship. And it's probably gonna get worse unless we start limiting our technology. So what I'd love to know is leave me a comment below, what are some things you think we could do to keep our culture from completely going narcissistic and move it back into the we society more into the we society than the me society. So leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.